Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, give me a high five. Give me a high five. Let me create energy. I always believe in one aspect uh, in life that if you got to be successful, you need two things. One is energy and second is focus. So let's create energy and then I will create a focus how to be successful in life. So to create a create bit of energy, give me a high five. Yeah, great. I can see, I can feel that you're giving me high five. Yeah, wherever you are, give me a high five, my friend. Very good. And also tell me, yay. Yeah, yay. I'm very happy. Yeah, listen to the music and tell me, yay. Wow, very good, my friend. Very good, my friends. Without getting into the nitty gritty, my friends, uh, let me straight uh, get into this, the topic, how to be successful and happy in life. I will ask you a question and I will repeat it. I will not wait for the answers. You have the answers in your mind. I will you, give you five to seven seconds. Then I will declare the answer myself. You try and connect the answer, whether it's the right answer or, or the, not, not the right answer. Because answers have to be within you and we don't have to find out answers in the environment. So my question is, if you have to climb a mountain, what is the one thing you need the most? Five seconds. I repeat the question. If you have to climb a mountain, what is one thing you need the most? Great. I'm sure a lot of answers must have come in your mind. Some people must be thinking you need to be trained. You need to have a right kid. You must have passion. You must be adventurous and you should have courage. All that stuff has come into your mind. My take is if you have to climb a mountain, the most important thing you need in life is the mountain. The mountain. Why? Because mountain will decide whether you need the courage, conviction, training, the training rig, and stuff like that. If you do not have a mountain, then it has no, no, no way to find it out how much courage you want. Let, give me, I, let me give you an example. I put two, I put two football teams in the ground and do not put the goalpost there. They will continue fighting for 90 minutes with a half half time break. And end of the, when the match is over, if I ask them who, who has won, nobody will be able to decide who has, who's been the winner. Some of them might get out by looking at the red card given by the referee. Some of them may be out because it's too aggressive. Some of, some of them may get hurt and may be out of the system. But end of the day, after 90 minutes, you cannot decide who is the winner. Winner can only be decided if there's a goal post. Similarly in French, when you look at our own life, you cannot, the amount of energy, the courage, it will not take you anywhere unless you have a focus where you want to be in life. So French, it is always said, goals are guide to success. Goals are guide to success. And I, I'm also of the firm believer, if you do not set goals for yourself, you are doomed to achieve the goal of someone else. You'll be going around watching movies of Salman, Sharo, going for malls and running around, changing, buying new dresses. If you have the goal, you don't have the time for all that. Look at the PV Sindhu, for six months she did not open, her, open up her, her, her mobile to see the WhatsApp till she won the world championship. You know, if you have the goal, the energy gets automatically focused onto that. Now, how do you decide? How do you find out the goals in life, my friend? Let me give you a model. My model is you should think of four H. The first H, the first H is head. Whatever you want to decide in life, you want to do social work, you want to go into the performing art, you want to be a doctor, astronaut, anything in life, you must think that, think from the head that you must have a self-esteem, whatever you want to do, live with self-esteem. Second H is heart. Do it what your heart wants. Don't think of your brain when you're doing anything. But your brain is a very naughty guy. It puts on something profit and loss and good and bad. Don't listen to the brain. Think of something coming out of your heart because heart will always tell you what you must do it in life. Once things comes out of your heart, then the third edge, high hands, then you should not be shying away to put as much effort as you can. 
it may be on digital it may be on physical aspects or anything because something coming out of your heart is actually the one you are loving it people say anything you love you don't have to work even for a day in your life anything what you love and do you don't have to work even one day in your life because you're just loving it enjoying it it's career as well as enjoyment fourth h is the harvesting h harvesting there's a delay between hard work and the harvest plan friends please have patience nobody in the world could become number 1 in days or in months you got to put in real amount of work put in hard work since things are close to your heart nobody on the stop nobody on the earth can stop you becoming successful and happy in life my friends so please remember two things what i said goals are guide to success your goals must come out of your heart follow the hr 4h model and let me give you another model quickly and to when you looking at the goals which comes out of your heart follow a model called phd and what is phd you must be in schools and which are now connected you must be thinking what is the phd phd is anybody can get it at any point of time in life p is passion now something coming out of your heart there's no reason why you're not passionate about it it is something you love it you something like it so you got to be passionate so be passionate to follow your dream what comes out of your heart p h is hunger then challenge yourself why because it is not somebody telling you to do something it is you are selecting something you which you want to do so challenge yourself have a lot of hunger to achieve what is coming out of your heart and third is d discipline in the world nothing can be achieved without discipline my friends simple meaning of discipline is doing something when nobody is telling you to do doing something when nobody is observing what you are doing it you are just doing it because you are loving it and that is what is discipline is all about